a Bering Strait crossing is a hypothetical bridge or tunnel spanning the relatively narrow and shallow Bering Strait between the Shukotka Peninsula in Russia and the Swood Peninsula in the U.S. state of Alaska. The bridge or tunnel would provide a connection linking North America with Asia and Europe. With the two Diomede Islands between the peninsulas, the Bering Strait could be spanned by three bridges. Two long bridges, each almost 40 kilometers long, would connect the mainland on each side to one island, and a third much shorter one between the two islands. However, the construction of a Bering Strait crossing would face exceptional political, engineering, and financial hurdles. There have been several proposals for a Bering Strait crossing made by various persons, television channels, magazines, etc. The names used for them include the Intercontinental Peace Bridge and Eurasia America Transport Link. Tunnel names have included TKM World Link and Amerasian Peace Tunnel. In April 2007, Russian government officials told the press that the Russian government will back a $65 billion plan by a consortium of companies to build a Bering Strait Tunnel. In August 2011, the Daily Mail reported that the Russian government had approved a A60 billion pounds tunnel across the Bering Strait. The A60 billion pounds comes from a rough Russian estimate of $100 billion. History The concept of an overland connection crossing the Bering Strait goes back before the 20th century. William Gilpin, first governor of the Colorado Territory, envisioned a vast cosmopolitan railway in 1890 linking the entire world through a series of railways. Two years later, Joseph Strauss, who went on to design over 400 bridges, including the Golden Gate Bridge, put forward the first proposal for a Bering Strait Railroad Bridge in his senior thesis. The project was presented to the government of the Russian Empire, but it was rejected. A syndicate of American railroad magnets proposed in 1904 a Siberian Alaskan railroad from Cape Prince of Wales in Alaska through a tunnel under the Bering Strait and across northeastern Siberia to Irkutsk via Cape Deshnov, Verkhnoklimsk and Yakutsk. The proposal was for a 90-year lease, and exclusive mineral rights for eight miles each side of the right-of-way. It was debated by officials and finally turned down on March 20, 1907. Tsar Nicholas II approved a tunnel in 1905. Its cost was estimated at $65 million and $300 million including all the railroads. These hopes were dashed with the outbreak of World War I and the Russian Revolution. Interest was renewed during World War II with their completion in 1942-43 of the Alaska Highway linking the remote territory of Alaska with Canada and the continental United States. In 1942 the Foreign Policy Association envisioned the highway continuing to link with Nome near the Bering Strait, linked by motorway to the railhead at Irkutsk, using an alternative sea and air ferry service across the Bering Strait. In 1958 Engineer T.Y. Lin suggested the construction of a bridge across the Bering Strait to foster commerce and understanding between the people of the United States and the Soviet Union. Ten years later he organized the Intercontinental Peace Bridge Incorporated, a non-profit institution organized to further this proposal. At that time he made a feasibility study of a Bering Strait bridge and estimated the cost to be $1 billion for the 50-mile span. In 1994 he updated the cost to more than $4 billion. Like Gilpin, Lin envisioned the project as a symbol of international cooperation and unity and dubbed the project the Intercontinental Peace Bridge. In September 2005 when launching the Universal Peace Federation, Sun Myung Moon brought new light to the idea of building what Moon called the Bering Strait Peace King Bridge and Tunnel, calling all the world's governments to make a joint effort to realize world peace. On February 10, 2009, Sun Myung Moon's Foundation for Peace and Unification announced a competition for the design of a bridge across the strait via the Diomede Islands. The winner was a project entitled Diomede Archipelago. It proposes a series of artificial islands that form two archipelagos extending the two continents, and three tunnels connecting the two Diomede Islands and the archipelagos. According to a report in the Beijing Times in May 2014, Chinese transportation experts are proposing building a roughly 10,000-kilometer-long high-speed rail line from Manchuria to the United States. 
the project would include a tunnel under the Bering Strait and connect to the contiguous United States via Canada. Technical Challenges The depth of the water offers little challenge, because the strait is no deeper than 55 meters. The tides and currents in the area are not severe. Nevertheless, the route would be located just south of the Arctic Circle. Because the location experience is long, dark winters and extreme weather, including average winter lows of a 20 a degree Celsius and possible lows approaching a 50 a degree Celsius, construction activity would likely be restricted to five months of the year. The weather also poses challenges to exposed steel. In Lin's design, concrete covers all structures, to simplify maintenance and to offer additional stiffening. Although there are no icebergs in the Bering Strait, Ice flows up to 1.8 meters thick are in constant motion during certain seasons, which could produce forces on the order of 44,000 kilonewtons on a pier. Economic costs In 1994, Lynn estimated the cost of a bridge to be a few billion dollars. The roads and railways on each side were estimated to cost 50 billion dollars. Lynn contrasted this cost to petroleum resources worth trillions. Discovery Channel's extreme engineering estimates the cost of a highway, electrified double-track high-speed rail and pipelines, at $105 billion, five times the cost of the 50-kilometer channel tunnel. This excludes the cost of new roads and railways to reach the bridge. Aside from the obvious technical challenges of building two 40-kilometer bridges or a more than 80-kilometer tunnel across the strait, another major challenge is that, as of 2011, there is nothing on either side of the Bering Strait to connect the bridge to. The Russian side, in particular, is severely lacking in infrastructure, without highways for almost 2,000 kilometers and no railroads or paved highways for over 3,200 kilometers in any direction from the strait. On the American side, at least 800 kilometers of highways or railways would have to be built to connect to the American transport network. A project to connect Nome from the strait, to the rest of the continent by a paved highway has been proposed by the Alaskan state government, although the very high cost has so far prevented construction. The TKM World Link, the TKM World Link also called ICL World Link is a planned 6,000-kilometer link between Siberia and Alaska providing oil, natural gas, electricity, and railroad passengers to the United States from Russia. Proposed in 2007, the plan includes provisions to build a 103-kilometer tunnel under the Bering Strait which, if completed, would become the longest tunnel in the world. The tunnel would be part of a railway joining Yakutsk, the capital of the Russian Yaksha Republic, and Komsomolsk on Amur, in the Russian Far East, with the western coast of Alaska. The Bering Strait tunnel was estimated to cost between $10 billion to $12 billion, while the entire project was estimated to cost $65 billion. In 2008, Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin approved the plan to build a railroad to the Bering Strait area, as a part of the development plan to run until 2030. The more than 100-kilometer tunnel would run under the Bering Strait between Shukotka, in the Russian Far East, and Alaska. The cost estimate was $66 billion. US dollars. As of 2013, the railway Amur Yakutsk main line connecting Yakutsk with the main rail network is completed. However, this railway is meant for freight and is too curvy for high speed passenger trains. In late August 2011, at a conference in Yakutsk in eastern Russia, the plan was backed by some of President Dmitry Medvedev's top officials, including Alexandr Levinthal, the deputy federal representative for the Russian Far East. It would be a faster, safer, and cheaper way to move freight around the world than container ships, supporters of the idea believed. They estimated it could carry about 3% of global freight and make about $7 billion US dollars a year. Shortly after, the Russian government approved the construction of the $65 billion US dollars Siberia-Alaska rail and tunnel across the Bering Strait. Other observers doubt that this will be cheaper than container ships, having in mind that the cost for transport from China to Europe by railroad is higher than by container ship, even though the ships have to make a large detour past Singapore. China Euro-Russia Euro-Canada Euro-America Railway, in 2014, 
reports emerged that China is considering construction of a China Euro Russia Euro Canada Euro America 600 km per hour bullet train railroad that would include a 200 km long undersea tunnel crossing the Bering Strait. The train would reportedly travel at around 350 km per hour, allowing passengers to travel between the United States and China in about two days. Although the press remains skeptical of the project, China's state-run China Daily claims that China possesses the necessary technology, which will be used to construct an underwater tunnel connecting China's Fujian province with Taiwan. It is unknown who is expected to pay for the construction, and how many passengers would prefer a three-day train trip to a 12-hour direct flight. Trans-Eurasian Belt Development in 2015 it was reported another possible collaboration between China and Russia that will be part of the Trans-Eurasian Belt development. A transportation corridor across Siberia that would also include a road bridge with gas and oil pipelines between the easternmost point of Siberia and the westernmost point of Alaska. China's Silk Road Economic Belt initiative has similar plans so the project would work in parallel for both countries. See also References Further reading, The Bering Strait Crossing by James A. Oliver out now in paperback ISBN 0-9546995-6-4. Information Architects. Russian Stream of Tunnel to Alaska. BBC News January 3, 2001. Retrieved April 26, 2010. Russia Considering Tunnel Between Asia and North America. VOA. April 19, 2007. Archived from the original on May 14, 2007. Retrieved April 19, 2007. Thinking Big, Roads and Railroads to Siberia. Alaska Historical Society. Archived from the original on January 10, 2006. Retrieved October 11, 2009. HTTP www.amazon.comdp slash 0955663806 ICL World Link, Intercontinental Eurasia America Transport Corridor Viaduct The Bering Strait by James A. Oliver, Andrei Podorejin, Dmitry Mashin. External links, Kremlin paves way for east to west rail link after approving $99 billion Bering Strait Tunnel, Discovery Channel's Extreme Engineering, World Peace King Tunnel, Quad Rail Intercontinental Railway and Bering Strait Tunnel Design, Trans Global Highway, the Bering Strait Crossing, Alaska Canada Rail Link, Project Feasibility Study, Russian Far East Region's Plan for Railroad to the Bering Strait. The Bridge Over the Bering Strait by James Cotter, a superhighway across the Bering Strait, the Atlantic.